Hello guys, welcome to you. In this video, we are going to see how to create a calendar in InDesign. You can create any type of calendar by the very simplest way. We can create any type of calendar in InDesign in a few minutes. So let's go. First of all, just close the our InDesign and we download a some extension or files. Okay. So just go to the any web browser and paste this link or just click on the YouTube description link. Okay. And this website is automatically open link in the description and just download it and click on OK. Now our download is completed. It is on desktop. I save it on the desktop. So right click it. Go to the extract file. Click on OK. Now here is the our extract file and it is contain calendars. Okay. You can clear any calendar. Okay. Now just copy, double click on it and just copy this calendar wizard. Okay. Just copy this. Here is our file and here is the our calendar wizard. Okay. Just copy it. Then just go to the this PC. Then go to the C drive. In C drive, find the program file. Double click on the program file. Here we find Adobe. Double click it. And here just find your Adobe version. I am using Adobe InDesign 2021. You can go with the any version. Okay. Then double click on the Adobe InDesign. Here just find script. Okay. Scripts. Here we find script panel. Scripts panel. Okay. Double click on it. And just right click on blank space or control P or paste it. Okay. Now our calendar wizard is added. Now close this. Now once again go to the start in design. Open the your Adobe in design. Just create a new file. Create a new. I create with the letter and just go with the any size you want. Okay. Now we want to find our wizard. So just go to the windows utilities. And here we find scripts. If you not find script at here, just go to the windows utility scripts and click on the scripts. Okay. Now we find three applications. Okay. First is the application double uh, click on that. And here we find calendar wizard. Okay. Just go to the calendar wizard. And here we find two files calendar wizard classics and calendar wizard. We go with the calendar wizard.js double click on it and it's load your calendar okay now here is the some basics information you have to fill and your calendar is created automatically so basic information is i want to create a calendar from january to december so i select the january to december okay now the i want to create a calendar for the next year next year is 2022 2022 okay so i just go to the 2022 okay now select the your year we go with the any year okay now just select the your year okay now here we select our language i am going with the english you can go with the any language available at here okay now the next option is week style so by defaultly it show us a m s t w like this on the our week or uh, days okay so i create a middle okay so it shows like a sunday tuesday okay so i go with the this option you can go with the short it show like a m s or anything like that okay so i select the this okay week start on so our week is start on sunday so i want to start with the monday so i go with the monday so i don't change anything here okay if you want to change it here and practice with some uh, data okay now here i go with the month and year so it shows uh, shows us a uh, january 2022 uh, december 2022 like that okay and here I don't change anything. Okay. 
here in layer option i just unselect this added text layer okay so i unselect it then all things are as usual okay now in a calendar per page we we go with the one two if you want to create a 12 page calendar then go with the one if you want to create a one page calendar then go with the 10 or 12 if you want to create a three page calendar then the create a three page calendar okay so i want to create a one page calendar so i go with the 12 if you want to create a 12 page calendar then go with the one so all 12 months on a single page that is the way okay don't change anything if you want to include a cover page then click on the cover page okay in a page here is the auto so i want to open this calendar in new document so i select the new document and i go with the letter so i don't change it if you want to change then change it here and color combination is cyk is very good for the printing or the printing industry okay now don't change at holidays or custom uh, costume frames okay then click on the okay as soon as you click on the okay your calendar is created it is as simple as that okay now click on the okay so our calendar is created but we see some errors at here and our mondays uh, and some dates are not showing days are not showing because our days are so large so it is not fixed in this box and we can solve this by the very simple way okay now if you not find paragraph or paragraph style at here then just go to the windows at here just go to the windows at here then just go to the types and tables and just go to the paragraph okay now here is the, our paragraph and paragraph style in paragraph style here is the, our all styling it is like a html or css those guys do in the html and css can work with the very easy way so here is the some basics information okay here is the some titles all takes or data we we go with the some basic information okay double click on this so just go at here and double click it and just go to the basics character formats and you can go with the any size okay so i minimize the size of font okay and our error is also gone okay now i don't want this at here because i want to manually change on the day or date or title date like a january 2022 may 2022 okay so i cancel it okay so i go with the title double click on the title okay now i just go with the basics character information i just just go to the regular to bold okay and i change it to this font okay okay i go with the bold okay now i just go with the some size and change size to 20 okay i think it is also good okay and click on the okay or just go with the character color you can create any color just double click it here and just go to the here and your color panel is open then create any color from here okay first thing is the black black is very dangerous okay now click on the okay preview it click at here so our new color it at here so just click at here and click on ok now i want to change day so i just click on the day and i just go with the basics character formatting and i change it to seven okay 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 now we see our all days and no error at here okay now i just go to the bold okay and click on the okay now next option is text 
it is not doing anything with the our fields and next is date date is for this numbers numbers okay then double click it and just go to the character formats and i want 12 is very good and i want bold it so i go with the bold and i want to center it or center this okay so i just go to the indent and spacing and here is the right i just go with the center so our all dates are become a center or just go to the left so it is on the left and i want to center it okay now i just click on the okay now i want to change these lines so as we go to the view and view print view then it's showing us a boxes and i want to remove that boxes it is very easy and the simple so i just go to the go to the cell styles so i just go to the windows types and tables and tables and in tables we find cell style okay so i just go to the cell basics stroke and file and just go to the color and click on the none and click on the view it okay and click on okay now i want a hairline after the monday tuesday wednesday thursday friday saturday sunday okay now it is very easy so i just select this okay now as soon as i select this from monday to sunday we find box at the top at here so i just unselect from this okay now unselect from this and here is the view selected this line from here to here okay now just change it to new 25 okay just go to the cell style and just go to the cell style and just click at here okay i'll create a new cell style and under line and click on okay now here is the our underline so select this and click on the underline select this underline so we see the underline at here it is like a html css okay underline 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 so our underlines are coming now we want to change sunday to red so i want this sundays to all red it is very easy you can create it very easy way so first of all just go at here okay and just click on this t format after text okay click at this t okay now just go to the switches and i give the color red okay now i just go to the paragraph styles at here okay now just go to the new at from here a new paragraph style and give red so my color is red okay and give it red okay now just select this red just select this red just select this red just select this red select this red just select this red 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 okay red red and red okay now our all data is done okay now we just go to the at here control alt and copy this control c control c and i create a new document with a3 okay now click on okay and i paste it and i drag it to bottom so i create a 
new image at here okay so i just go to the here here is the calendar and here is the my image so i just drag this image drag this image to here and just create a okay new page okay now i just no here is the our calendar and i just go to the view and view preview so guys this is the our calendar and we create in a some minutes so guys thank you for watching this video don't forget to like share comment on this video and don't forget to subscribe the channel thank you guys